Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a minimalistic logo design using Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. Okay, when we're in Illustrator, we're going to be making a logo that is very minimalistic. To make a minimalistic logo, it is important that you put as little information in it as possible. Uh, the less you have in a minimalistic logo, the better it is when people still know what it is and can remember it. Uh, it's better to think outside the box in this situation. In uh, this example, I'm going to be making a letter logo out of the name Daniel Ray. Uh, Daniel Ray is a made up name, but for this example, we're going to be using his initials D and R. Uh, in order to do that, we need to brainstorm. Uh, start by just typing out letters. I like to type out every combination of the letters D, R, Uh, with this, you can come up with uh, ideas based on the shapes of these uh, fonts. The fonts themselves aren't really going to give you much, but you can still make logos out of fonts uh, by using the font, uh, letters and fonts. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brush tool and just start drawing out the shapes of these letters. When you pull apart everything, you can get the very fine detail that makes a letter what it is. By doing this, I can brainstorm ways I can put these shapes together. Now when I look at these, the first thing I notice is that for the lowercase d and the uppercase r, there are similar shapes here. We have this small curve line, then small curve line. Uh, if we can portray this in a way where we can still recognize these as a lowercase d and uppercase r, we'll have a good logo. So I'm going to start with that idea. I'm going to delete all of this. I'm going to go to my uh, ellipse tool, make a circle, make the stroke of it about 30. I'm gonna make it pretty small here. Make sure you have a good thick line for this. I'm going to go to object, path, outline stroke to make this a shape. I'm going to go to a rectangle tool and measure up the height of our rectangle with the top and bottom of this uh, upper part of the O and bring out the rectangle, make sure it still stays snapped. I'm gonna copy this rectangle, I'm gonna rotate it uh, 45 degrees by holding shift and we're gonna insert it to the middle of our circle here. Do not, do not let it overlap with the part of the circle over here. Just let it go right through like a cube. I'm gonna select everything, shape builder, then hold alt and remove these two parts and you can combine these two parts, these three. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm creating a very minimalistic shape of part of the letter R. We have the line and the small curve here. And what I've done here, since I've done that, I can create a perfect copy of it and flip it over and make the lowercase d. But I'm not going to do that quite yet. I need to keep fixing up this part of the R. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the pen tool, hit the point here by holding shift, and hold shift to make a straight line coming from the direction of where this point was. And I'm going to pretty much extend it through here. I'm going to select both. I'm going to use the shape builder tool and remove that end and delete the line. And last thing, I'm going to extend these two points here by going to the direct selection tool, holding shift, selecting these two ends, then dragging with shift. And just make it pretty long there because we're going to have a circle on the outside and we want to poke through the end of the circle. You'll see in a minute. Okay, now hold alt, copy our shape and flip it horizontally and vertically. And see we have a lowercase d shape going on here. And since it's symmetrical, we can mirror it and create a really cool symbol. 
I'm going to put it about right there. Now I'm going to go to our ellipse tool and create a circle. Make sure the object is arranged to send it back. I'm going to group these two for a minute by holding uh, by hitting control G. And we're going to center all this together. I'm going to increase the size of our circle just a little bit by holding Alt and Shift. And we're going to change the color of our symbol to white. I'm going to select everything, use our shape builder, and delete the inside of this. Now what I've done here is I've created a really good circular symbol that can be used small and large. Um, when you're making a good logo like this, if it works with no color and it works in any size, then it's very, very successful, especially if it's minimalistic. If I bring it down to this size, it works. I can see everything going on in it. If I bring it up here, I can still see everything going on. It works. Uh, now I'm going to add our person's name here. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to give it a bit black lotto font. I'm going to go to type, create outlines, I'm going to center it up. Nope, not that way. And with that, we have a finished logo. You can choose to put any color on it now at this point but just know that starting a logo in all black works. If it works, then it is very, very successful at the end. Uh, you can even set it to white by making a, um, a rectangle like this, sending it to back, hitting control two to lock it. So you have a gray background. Setting this to white and see it still, it still works. It, you can still see everything going on and it still portrays his name just fine. Thank you for watching. If you learned anything, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.